message is clear and who they want to hear is clearer. Protesters gathered outside City Hall demanding justice for Tyree Nichols, the 29-year-old man who ended up in the hospital after a traffic stop on January 7th and died three days later. It's inhumane and we want to put a stop to it and we want justice for Tyree. Justice looks like the cops being charged and charged with murder and locked up. But attorney Murray Wells says any action can sometimes take time. Sometimes you never really know what happens until actually the trial. Uh, in cases where there's body cam or evidence, then that can be delayed because it becomes evidence of the investigation itself. It's the legal process. Well says as a lawyer who's covered similar cases, he would have some questions himself. I want to know who doesn't have an interest in it that can tell me what happened. So medical providers don't have an interest. I want to know what the injuries are. And then I want to figure out how someone can sustain those injuries, certainly ones that cause death. Then Wells says he'd speak with police. Accountability is, is, is paramount and explanation. And if there's a perfectly legal, rational explanation as to how this young man lost his life, I would think they would want to get in front of that as soon as possible for the family. It's also my experience these things find the light of day. And the light of day is what many are waiting on. Attorney Wells said that when you have cases like this and it's, there's a delay in releasing information, it can also sometimes lead to some more speculation that could be harmful for both the family and the city of Memphis. But again, we are told that on Monday, Nichols' family and their attorney will be here in Memphis to review and view that footage. Live at City Hall, I'm Brittany Moncrease.